Warships season 39 is here to Boom Beach. Let's take a look, see how it looks, and get some wins, hopefully. So, I'm on my starting over account, so I'm not... Uh, I usually don't do warships on this account, so my rank is starting very, very low. I'm literally starting close to the bottom. Now, I haven't seen the tech tree yet. Actually, we didn't get a sneak peek this time around. Uh, but first, again, always go for your landing crabs. Having the extra troops is really good, at least level 4. Uh, I'm seeing, okay, I'm seeing heavies. I'm seeing zookas at the next HQ. I'm not seeing flares, so we're going to be doing a distraction strategy. We get flares at HQ3. So I have to use heavies. Everyone has to use heavies. And everyone has to do a distraction strategy. So it would be nice to get a couple more defenses up in here. However, I think the extra troops from that is going to be super helpful. And we're just going to go full offensive and try to get some wins today. So I, I think I'll be fine based on... I think I'll be fine based on uh, just how much offense I have. However, I think the issue I'm going to run into is... Are we going to be able to defend well enough? So I'm cr trying to do some sort of like little, actually a distraction like this would probably be better. That way people can't really split my base. That way all of their troops are kind of brought up to the top and there's nothing we can do. And then I'll place that there. So they're going to have to target the first one and then the second one. Actually, I think we can even drop it lower down like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Hero, I have battle orders loaded up. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the warships content. I usually don't do warships, but you know, I felt like felt like it today. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So battle orders is actually like a super helpful ability, and I'm definitely gonna try to use it to the best of my my abilities. But yeah, level two heavies are really really weak, and I'm starting to realize how weak they are. So it would be nice if. I can upgrade my heavies a few more times and honestly I'll probably upgrade my heavies before I upgrade or yeah before I upgrade any defenses because I think having better heavies will help me more than having a few more defenses obviously this player had way more defenses than me and it looks close we'll see who wins but this is what I'm talking about heavies are just very very bad at a low level they don't deal a lot of damage and this is how I'm going to save time. It's probably taking me about the same amount of time to destroy the HQ as it did to get up to the HQ. So that's kind of what's telling me, okay, if I upgrade my heavies, increase damage, I think that's going to be a better strategy than dropping down defenses like this player had down. But we did get a win, and that is because this guy only has five boats. He didn't upgrade his landing crabs four times. He instead he went for the defensive route. Now, I know that when this video is dropping, most of you guys probably already have started the season. So hopefully I'm giving you some tips, but this is just what goes through my mind when I start a new warship season. So maybe it'll help you next season or something. Finally though, base goes down. We got our first win today. So we should gain extra 15 stars for our first win. So we should get like 25 uh, stars, right? Or 15. Oh, it, it's just 15. It's not added on to the 10 I, I would have gotten. Okay, perfect. I can't do anything yet, and that's because we're very, very low. I think if I get one more win, uh, I should get another crate. So that's what we're looking at today. Okay. Heavy is down. Hero in the middle. Wait for the hero to kind of act over all the heavies. All right. Once I can boost up all the heavies at once, I did my hero ability. It's really hard without flares. We've had so many seasons of flareless heavies. <laughs> Believe me, we've we've done our time, but it's crazy how how just weak low level heavies are when you don't have flares and you can't uh, and you can't upgrade your heavies. I usually start seasons out better than this, where I'm able to max out my heavies very early on. But, yeah, we, we definitely did not beat this player. This player definitely got a win faster than me. We'll see what his base looks like. Obviously, he has more tokens, it looks like, just based on the number of defenses he upgraded. Yeah, he beat me by 10 seconds, and that's probably because of his, his troops. So, he did four levels of the heavies, 
and I'm just putting it times one to compare. I mean, probably a few times, but I don't think they're maxed out yet. Okay, we destroyed two. Minimum of two more battles until we can upgrade my heavies. Or, or maximum of two more battles where I get all of the... Um, where I can get the, the next crate just from engine rooms. Okay, we'll wait a second. Trying to get my hero so I can hit all of my heavies. There we go. Let's try to do our best heavies. Yeah, I mean, having a lot of heavies is nice, but going back, I probably would have only upgraded my heavies or my landing crafts four times, so I would be able to upgrade my heavies an extra time because I think six X or eight extra heavies is worse than if I would have just upgraded my heavies to get that extra damage. I think I would have got more damage if I just did the upgrade of the heavies. Oh well though, I think we got a win here, so that would be really nice to see. This player took me out. Yeah, I mean this, when you don't have flares, you're trying to distract the opponent. Again, I didn't upgrade my defenses at all, and I'm beating players that did upgrade their defenses. There we go, perfect. Let's claim this chess. That's gonna give me a lot of loot, and I'm just only gonna put it towards my heavies. Perfect, now I have level four heavies. Technically, they're not actually level four. When I say level four, I mean from the tech tree perspective. Okay, hero, get heavies. We should not have done that, it's fine. As long as we don't lose my hero here. I decided to activate my hero so she would stop walking forward because I was a little a little stressed out. She'd walk in the range of the cannons. It is really nice having battle orders. This would be a really slow start to the season just on like quality of life and attacks if people didn't have battle orders. I, I can already tell the cores are just dropping so much faster. I know we have battle orders on my troops, but 326, literally 10 seconds faster than the last few attacks and I did the exact same thing as the last few attacks and we are definitely gonna get a win here. Dark Flow, I'm sorry, but we got the win. Not max out landing crabs. I don't know what level heavies this player is using, but we secured the dub. Let's keep on moving. Very nice, thank you, and let's go forward. Okay, we got a crate, perfect. That's what we want. Let's just drop down my gold trophy here. Okay, let's max out my heavies. They're gonna be a good troop long term. I don't mind doing it. And let's spend our unlock tokens on some stuff. I, I mainly just did that so I can uh, grab those. That'll give me two extra defenses for the machine guns to drop down. And again, because we don't have flares, uh, we're gonna do this actually. So. Uh, I don't I don't think we'll have enough defenses at this low of a level to try to kill the army. So it's really just about how well can we distract the army and keep the army from pushing forward. And I think we can do that like this. So I'm mainly trying to keep them from dropping multiple troops and trying to get them to walk up this arc instead of taking down each building directly, which is a good strategy. But here we go. We should get a win here. My maxed out heavies and my pretty good base design already. This player has a better base design than me. Not a better base design, but better defenses than me. So we'll see who gets to win here. But again, I don't think at this level, I don't think players will really be able to kill an army. It's only about distracting. And that's definitely something you have to balance when you're trying to push on warships or even starting out on warships is... What am I trying to do here? Am I trying to distract and take make the opponent take as long as possible? Or am I trying to kill the opponent and try to kill their entire army? At this point, it's better for you just to distract because you're not gonna kill an army of heavies. It's very, very difficult to kill an army of heavies and without mines, that's pretty much impossible. Now, we don't have flares, so there's that, but I still would recommend putting all of your effort on trying to distract the opponent, which my base aims to do. Okay. And as soon as I lose to someone, I'm gonna try to go and copy their base design. So as soon as I find someone that takes me a long time to attack, gonna copy it, gonna drop it down on my base because it's better, it's better than my base. I really wish though that Boom Beach had a copy base function in warships. We're not gonna get a base builder. I think Boom Beach has been saying that since 2016. 
We're not going to be getting that in the main base. Um, we do kind of have it in the warships base, but it still takes a while to, to make your base. I forgot that we do have it in warships. They said it wouldn't come out to your main base, but it still takes a really long time to make your base. And if Boombeach had a base copy feature where you attack someone, oh, they had a better base? Copy and put on your base. And I, I really don't think many people would be against that. I hope many people wouldn't be against that because it's just so much pain for everyone to make bases and it'd be a lot easier if we can just copy bases from other players. But I don't really see Boom Beach doing that. I think they would probably think that's a little cheap. Players not really making their own bases and just copying, but I think that would be a great quality of life uh, decision. Okay, this is gonna be interesting though because this guy has a very um, different base design than what we've seen so far. Kind of splitting the HQs a little bit. The question I'm wondering is, is it gonna be enough? And luckily, some of my heavies were able to go straight up top. So I don't know if we'll be able to beat it faster than normal. Yeah, we beat it way faster than the average base. I think we had like 330 left. A lot of players are using cluster grenades and I don't know if that's a meta or if that's just because they didn't realize they could change the ability on the hero. But we'll take it. We'll take the win and we'll keep on moving on. I think we'll probably call it there though. We got that crate and let's just do some last minute upgrades so i don't think my hero is really gonna do much um i think if we can distract that's the best strategy i really want to get cannons because cannons have a high amount of hp when you max them out uh, mortars i think also kind of have a higher amount so let's do this let's try to push for cannons We'll upgrade cannons as much as possible. A gunboat upgrade might be helpful in the future. I don't want to spend tokens on that now because I don't feel like I'm really struggling, but maybe in the future. But I hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you kind of how to start each season, giving you those tips, that mindset to hopefully put you in a successful place. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.